All right. Um, as I said, good day, everyone. Welcome to today's online workshop. And the topic is setting up uh, a WordPress blog. And that is actually going to be um, my focus this morning is setting up my own WordPress blog, showing you step by step how to do that um, using um, a block theme. And then at the end, we will allow for some questions and answers. Um, but yeah, hopefully as we go through the process, um, you will be able to um, to learn, learn with me. All right, so I'm actually going to jump straight into my test website um, to to get us going. And let me first show you what we are going to um, recreate this morning. So um, I'm just going to show you my blog that I I created, um, and of course it's got some dummy content. Um, I, I used a lot of dummy content, so. Don't worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, this is my um, like interior design blog that um, that I'm going to show you how to create. Um, and um, it's called Style Your Nest. And um, as you will notice, I've set up my header and my um, navigation menu top right. And then this is the first part. And I'm just on my homepage, so scrolling through. And one thing you'll notice on my homepage, I've actually um, made a section for my latest posts. And if we scroll down to the bottom, we will see my, my footer is in place. And then my blog page, if you click on blog, it will take you here and you will see all my all my blogs and even um, categories. And I'll show you how to set all of that up um, as well. Now, the interesting thing about setting up a blog is that you have a choice. Um, do you want your homepage to be your blog page or do you want a separate blog page? Or maybe you want more than one type of blog page or a news page. You know, there's different ways to um, to set it up. Um, so if we jump to our test website, I will show you the route that I followed, but I will also show you the other options. So first things first, um, let's create our, our pages for our, our blog. So I'm going to make my way to pages. I'm on my dashboard. Oh, and just a reminder, um, for this demo, I'm using the the 2024 block theme. Okay, so again, let's jump to um, pages. And, um, you know, at this stage, you might have decided to use a completely different theme. Um, there, are, there are even specific, um, maybe I can just sh show you that as well. If we go to WordPress and um, if you, click on extend themes. Let's click on block themes. And let's say I'm going to type in blog. You know, there's there's even um, themes specifically for um, blog sites that that you can explore. Um, but as mentioned, today, I'm going to use the, the default 2024 theme. Okay, so First things first, as I said, let's create our pages. So um, I am going to have a home page. So home, let's publish that. I'm not going to use a pattern now. So and our next page, I'm actually going to create a blog a separate blog page or a posts page. So I'm going to create that here. If you wanted your home page to be your blog page, you would of course not have done that. Okay, so let's publish our blog page. Um, and then I've got an about page. And 
for my interior design site, I decided, oh, I'm also going to have a, a page called Inspiration. Okay, so I've set up my my pages. And the next thing we need to decide is on our homepage display. And to decide on our homepage display, we need to make our way to settings. And we are going to click on reading. And below reading settings, you'll see your homepage displays. So at the moment, our homepage is our, sorry, our, um, our homepage is our, our latest posts. Um, and that is by default, but I'm going to change that because I want a static homepage and a separate post page. So I'm going to click on um, static. And I'm going to select my homepage. And maybe I should just quickly, I'll, I'll do this first and then I'll show you the, the opposite. Um, if you decide for your latest post to be your homepage, then you would of course not have created all these these pages. Um, so there's my blog page. So I've got a static homepage and a static post page. And now I'm going to click save changes. All right, so let's just stop there for a moment. I'm gonna open up a different playground. Um, and as a reminder, Playground, WordPress Playground is like a sandbox to, to play around and to, um, and to test out your skills in a safe environment. So I just wanted to show you this. Um, if I go back to settings reading, let's say this is my site and I have selected my, my latest post page to be my home page. Then if we make our way to appearance and editor, we will actually see that our, if you click on templates, our blog home template is our homepage and it will display your, your latest posts. So that is a route that you can follow um, but then, of course, you would not have created a separate home page um, because this is your home page. I hope that makes it clear. Did you want to add anything there, um, Catherine? Um, no, I don't think so. I, I know that this topic can be a little bit confusing, but um, you can either go with the way 2024 is set up by default and not make the changes in settings. Yeah. Or you can make those changes and see, you can see the effects when you make those changes. But yeah, it's important to, to note that um, you will build your, your homepage for your blog in your blog home template, because um, that is um, your, that is the, the homepage display that you have selected. But of course we have gone the other route. We have selected a, a static homepage and a static post page or a separate post page. So we are actually going to build our home page um, within the page that we created. And of course, for our post page, we will also create it in the blog home template. Okay, so let's click save changes. And the next thing that we are going to start doing is creating posts, right? So our home page is in place, our blog page. And then of course, if we go to posts, that is where we create posts for our blog or our, our post page, whatever it may be. Okay. So I kind of used WordPress playground just to show you this bar. Um, but now I'm going to jump to my, my other test website where I've actually already started creating, um, well, I've added images and um, and some other things to make it easier for this demo, right? So um, let me jump to my homepage. I mean, my, my dashboard. Um, 
and you will notice if we go to general I have my site title is style your nest and my tagline is make your space yours so I've added my site title and tagline there I just wanted to show you that if we go to pages there's my pages that I've created that I've just shown you how to create those pages but now this is where I, I I wanted to make something very clear. If I click on, so I have not done that here yet because I actually wanted to show you here. So let's go to reading. Um, my homepage display is still set to latest post. So let's select my homepage, static homepage and post page. But now I want to show you the template that has been assigned to these because that's an important part of the important piece of the puzzle so if I go to pages now you will notice next to home it says front page and blog is post page if you open your home page you will notice that this has been assigned to the page template okay and if I go to my blog page that I created it says there you are currently editing the page that shows your latest posts this has been assigned to the blog home template and I am actually going to build my my um, blog page within the blog home template I'm not going to add any content here I'm going to do that within the blog home um, template okay so coming back um, you will notice my pages are in place and if we go to posts you will notice I have already created um, a lot of posts so let's open one of them up I've added some dummy content and you will notice on the right side I've added um, a featured image and of course the featured image will will be displayed um, um, on your on your posts page um, via the query loop block okay so you'll notice something else I have added categories and I've added tags now these are taxonomies um, and taxonomies in WordPress um, is a way of grouping posts and custom post types together so yeah tags is just a way for you to um, to granularly search um, your content and categories are um, have parent and child relationships and um, they are usually the broader um, classification um, of your content so to add a category we we go to categories and we go to tags but let's first create a new post for ourselves so I'm just going to grab some dummy content here show you how I created a post right so I'm going to add a new post and let's call this um, or let me add my my content so far um, I'm just going to call it a bathroom post for now and then on the right, I'm going to set a featured image. And here's one of my, as you'll notice, I've already added all my images to my media library. So I can just grab the image that I wanted to. All right, let's publish. And of course, in your blog post now, you can add a lot of other content and images and, and, and so forth. Um, but this is just a demo. So there's our new blog post. And let's go to categories now for my interior design or home design website I've created some categories called art bedroom DIY flow furniture garden home designs kitchen living room and if we go to tags um, you will see more the the granular search options as I mentioned so countertops ensuite floating vanities guests kids and I'm going to create a new category called bathroom. 
you'll see there's there's one called bedroom. So let's create one called bathroom. And I'm going to go ahead and add the new category. You know, you, you could decide here if you want it to be a parent or a, a child category. So for example, um, you could have said, okay, you want bedroom to be a category and guest bedroom to be a subcategory, for example. Okay, so I've got my new my new um, category and let's go to tags and I'm going to add a new one called bath, let's say bath tub, add a new tag. Okay, now let's go to our posts again. Let's open bathroom post. And in our sidebar on the right, you will notice you've got the um, option to add a category. Now at the moment, this post, all my posts are added to the home designs category. So I can say, oh, I want this to be assigned to the bathroom category. And then here below tags, I can type bathtub and I can assign that that tag. And I can go ahead and hit save. All right, and if I go to, here's a post called Bathroom Inspiration. If you click on Quick Edit, so here you will notice it's added to Home Designs and some of the tags is Ensuite and Storage. So of course, you can have multiple tags to a post but you usually have one or two um, categories for a, a post so let's quickly click on quick edit and then i can say oh i want the bathroom category as well and comma and i'll also add a bathtub so that's a quick way to to add categories and tags as well if you click on um, quick edit all right so now all our our posts are in place. Now let's move on to setting up our homepage. All right, any questions before I move on? I don't see any questions in the chat. All right, so of course, the main thing with a, a blog is your blog post. So this is of course the, um, The main focus is our is our um, is our posts. So um, we have decided to have a static homepage, but on our homepage we are going to display our latest posts, and then of course on our blog page we will be able to display all our posts. So I'm going to open my homepage now. For now. Of course, here's all the content. I'm going to remove that now and show you how I quickly created this homepage um, using, using patterns. So I'm going to click on the inserter um, and make my way to patterns. And let's go to a call to action. And um, I'm going to select this pattern, okay. Then I'm going to click on that and say add after. And I thought I wanted to add some quote blocks. So let's add all our content and then we can style it a bit. All right, the next thing I wanted to add was a columns block. Um, two equal columns. And in the left column, I'm going to add a quote block. And my quote is, your home is living space, not storage space. And if I select the quote block, I can click on add citation. And the person who said this is Francine J. And now, 
of course, to save time, we can just duplicate this column. Let's say duplicate the column and we can delete the empty column because we only want two columns. And on this side, I wanted to say a room should feel collected, not decorated. And the person who said this is Albert Hadley. All right, let's select our main column and we are also going to, we want this to be full width. Let's just double check. I think this is also full width. Yes. So we change the line to full width. And now we're going to say add after. And as mentioned, I want to display my latest posts. So um, let's add a query loop block. Now, Catherine will actually be running um, a lesson on the query loop block um, later this week. Am I right, Catherine? That's right. On yes. Thursday, my time, I will post a link in the chat. So, yeah, if you want to learn more about the query loop block, she will go into more depth. Um, but, of course, the query loop block is used to display our posts. And, and I will show you how I am going to display my latest posts on my homepage. Now, the great thing is, um, when you add the query loop block, you can choose a pattern or you can start blank, but I'm going to choose a pattern and then you will notice there's lots of different patterns. And of course it's pulling in all my posts that I've already created, right? We've looked at our posts, we've created posts, we've created tags, we've created categories, and those things will now be displayed on the front end via the, the um, query loop block. So I have decided on this pattern. It says grid of posts featuring first post two columns. So I'm going to select that. But now you will notice there's a lot. Um, but I'm going to change that. But if you want to modify a query loop block, you have to open your sidebar settings and you actually have to deselect inherit query from template. So I want, I want to change the, um, the query loop. So I'm going to deselect inherit from query. Loop. And then you'll notice you get more options here and you even get more options in the, in the block toolbar. Let me just show you again. Look at this change. This changes as well. Okay. And of course there's actually two query loop blocks here. There's one in the left column and there's one in the right column. Okay, so let's select the query loop in the left column. I've deselected inherit query from template. And I actually just want to display one one post and that will be my my latest post. And that's that's why it's the, the biggest one on the left. So I'm going to say one. And then we're going to select the query loop block on the right. Again, I'm going to deselect inherit query from template. And something important to note now is the offset option. You will see the offset is set at one, meaning it will skip the first post. And that's the one here on the right. If I don't select this offset, this post will show on the right as well. And we don't want this post to be shown on the right. So we're going to say offset, we're going to skip the first post. And in the right column, we only want to see two um, posts in this query loop. All right, so now we can click save. And we will notice we only see our latest post and then the other latest um, two posts. And of course, the cool thing you'll see now is we can see the date, we can see the author, we can see um, the categories. Now, as a reminder, 
let's just select our query loop block and then open it up here. So our post template block shows that there's a featured image, a spacer block, and then there's a stack block. And within the stack block, you've got the post title, you've got an excerpt, and then you've got your, um, your post meta and blocks. So you've got the date block, by the author, and then your categories. Now, of course, you can remove some of these blocks, you can add. So if I wanted to add um, the tag, I could say add after, and you know, whoops, you can add tags if you wanted to, and then you'll notice, oh, now the tabs display. And of course, if you change it in one query loop, um, it will update um, everywhere else. Okay, I'm not going to do that now. I, I actually like this display. So I'm going to remove this. All right, but our latest posts are, are in place on our static homepage. And then the last thing I wanted to add was just another pattern. So let's say add after. Let's just make sure this is also, yes, this is also full width. And now we can add another pattern. So of course you can create your own blocks, etc. but patterns just make it so much easier to, to build. All right, so let me go to featured. Wes, before you do that, could we take yes. a peek at one thing? Yeah. We had one really interesting question where if you go back to that post, you see how you have add a read more link on two of the three posts, but why is it missing from the leather couches post? Oh, it's just because oh, if you click oh. on it, it appears. Yeah. I saw that ah. yesterday. If you click on it, it appears. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing Tricky. strange. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that was an easy answer. <laughs> okay. Cool. You know, I noticed it yesterday and I was like, oh, that's odd. It disappears and then it comes back. But yeah, um, somebody's got eyes like a hawk. Okay, so I'm going to add another pattern. Go to patterns. I'm going to go to featured. And let's see what other options there are. Oh, here's the one I want. So I'm going to click on it. And of course, it just um, it gets added automatically. All right. And now um, let's just change the image here. I'm going to change my my image here. We can now start changing the content and, and of course, start styling a bit. Um, Okay, so let's replace this image and select one of the other images and we can go to this pattern and we can replace this image. And you will notice I've actually selected a portrait image for, for this option. So you will notice this is a portrait image because the pattern also shows a, a portrait image, but it would have um, scaled. And now, of course, I can change the, the content here. I can update the, the call to action. So, for example, if I look at this call to action, it says our services. Here, I can rather say something... Um, like, you know, find, find inspiration, find inspiration. And I, I need to remind myself, I should not type that in capital letters. I should actually use the, the options below typography. So if I go to letter case, I can select uppercase. There we go. Okay, now of course we can also update the content in our patterns and so forth. Now let's go ahead and, 
install this a bit. Um, and I'm actually going to use global styles to do that. So let me just do some padding for this um, columns block. So as you will notice, um, it looks like we need some padding. So I'm going to open styles in my right column. And then for the top and bottom, I just want to quickly check something. I just want I wrote this down for myself so that I, I don't forget. All right, so for the top and bottom, I'm going to add a little bit of padding. But for the left and right padding, I'm going to add a bit more. And I'm going to drag this to, to 5. Okay. And if we select this block, I just want to quickly check something here. It looks like, yeah, it looks like my pattern here is actually part of this block now. And that's not what I wanted. So I am going to just pull it out there. You can see, you can just drag and drop and pull it out of that container block. There we go. So now you will actually see there's, there's space between the two sections. Sorry, I don't know how that happened. Okay, so I've added my content. I've shown my latest post. So I'm just going to click Save here. And now I'm going to make my way to Appearance and click on the Editor to open the Site Editor. And here we can actually see our, our page now, our home page. And you will notice that my um, my pages were added automatically to my header. So to update the header, we actually need to do that within the template, right? Not in the page. So to update your header and footer, we can go to templates. And remember our home page is attached to the page template. So we can go to pages. And let's go ahead and add our logo. So I've added my site logo. There we go. I can enlarge that a little bit. And of course, if you wanted to use a different header, if you select the header in your list view, and you'll notice on the right below design, you can actually see all your, your pattern options. So you could have selected a different pattern um, if you wanted to. I like this pattern, so I'm going to stick with this one. And the same for the footer. If you select the footer, um, you'll notice I've, I've selected this pattern, but there's other footer patterns to, to choose from as well. Okay, so we've added our, our logo. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to open up styles. So let's just return, make our way to styles. And here you've got um, different styles to choose from. Um, and it's easier for me if I go to edit styles and you browse styles from here, you know, your global styles. Because now I, I don't have to do a lot of work. I can choose one of the styles provided by my theme. So let's see. This is Ember. Fossil. And this is Ice. Okay, and I've selected, I've, I've decided on Ice. So I'm going to save. And now the great thing is this style, this has been applied to my entire site. Okay, but you'll notice this image is gray. So if I wanted to remove that, you know, we can go back to, to our home page. Go to pages. I could have done that in the in the um, site editor as well. You know, if you open your your home page. 
there we can see our style has been applied. And I think there's an overlay color here. What is this? This is a duotone filter that's been added. So I can say clear. And then, you know, now you'll see all my images are clear and they don't have a duotone. All right. So my style has been selected. My homepage has been set up. Now we can start looking at our blog page. But any questions before that? I do not see any new questions. All right. So now, of course, I said we've got a, a static blog page or post page, but we are not going to add any content to our um, to our page itself. Remember, as I said, we are going to build this in the blog home template. So I can go to my blog home template, going to appearance, clicking on um, editor, or I can click on blog home here and I can say edit template. And you will notice that my there's already a um, a pattern page added to, and there you can see all my all my posts. So my technically my my theme has already provided this um, pattern for me, but I want to change that. So I'm going to select this group, and I'm going to delete this. It says, be careful. Some of the deleted blocks will stop your post or page content from displaying. And that's of course true, but we are going to add um, a different query loop block. I'm going to show you that I actually selected a, a pattern again, because um, that was, that was better and easier. And it was an easier way to display categories and tags. So let's just start over again and click on the inserter. Let's make our way to patterns and then you will notice there's an option for pages and there's different um different patterns and there's actually one that says blogging so i'm going to select that pattern and as i select that it gets added to my um to my blog page. And of course, um, this pattern already has a, a query loop in place. But the great thing is on the side, um, you'll notice there's a column and it's got all the important information that, that I want. All right, so let's tweak this the way we want it. So let's say um, delete that part, select the group. So about this author, um, you know, so I've added some dummy content, an interior designer known for creating elegant functional spaces with um, a personal touch. And here we can actually see popular categories. So of course, people will be able to search your content with the categories you created. And then useful links. So this is a navigation block. So let's add a link and let's call it <clears throat> let's say, you know, we call this latest trends and we can actually say oh there's going to be a page called latest trends and we can add that there this is in draft now so let's just click save i'll show you now um if we go back to pages you will notice there's a latest trends page. And of course, now we can add content here. It's not going to be one of the pages um, on our in our navigation menu. Let's just refresh this now. But it might be a, you know, I can make that bold. 
and somebody can click on that and find something a page on on latest trends or, or whatever you can add some other links there and of course the great thing about this pattern is as well that you've got the um the search block as well now at the moment this my my picture's not showing it's because i'm on a on a local a site but i just wanted to show you it will appear correctly um there's another site that i that i'm using on a different hosting so of course the the profile pic will appear correctly but at the moment it's it's not showing up all right so now the cool thing is all my my blog posts are of course displayed on on this page and people can just keep scrolling or they can use um the categories to search for all right now let's look at the front end of our site again and of course the style you know the global styles that we selected is automatically applied to our blog page so there's our home page again and if we click on blog you know you can add you can add a heading there if you wanted to but now all our content is being displayed now at the moment you'll see art and home design so your categories are here so if you click on art you will see all the posts related to art or you know if you click on bathroom you will see all the all the posts related to bathroom or the bathroom category and of course folks will be able to use this to search so if they click on flow or they may use the um, the search block. And of course, now you can go ahead and add content to your about page, your inspiration page. Um, but in essence, your your blog is is ready to to go live. All right, that's everything that I wanted to to show you today. And and now I'm I'm happy to um, to answer some questions and and open the floor just for discussion so i am going to um, stop recording now um, and then we can discuss this further so if you are watching online um, thank you very much for joining us and we'll see you we'll see you next time